first of all, thanks MicroStrategy for putting together such a wonderful uh, conference. Uh, it's awesome to see such like-minded individuals you know, working together to push forward Bitcoin and Lightning. Um, my name is Andre Nevis. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Zebedee. Uh, and at our core, we enable businesses, customers, users, developers, platforms to power and use open programmable money, right? Uh, that is Bitcoin. We are a 70 plus person company and a fintech built on, entirely on top of Bitcoin and Lightning Network. Um, we are just shy of four years old and we are headquartered and fully compliant and regulated in the United States. Our business is split into two parts. We have our B2C arm, which is our consumers. Uh, this, the entry point here is the ZBD app. Uh, folks that want to engage with Bitcoin, that want to engage with Lightning and want to participate in this monetized online world should download the ZBD app. Uh, on the other side, we have our B2B arm, which is our payments provision, and the entry point really is with the Zebedee developer dashboard, which I'll talk about in a second. At the core of our platform, we have the Zebedee API. The Zebedee API allows you to move money at the speed of the internet. You can move money globally and settle it instantaneously anywhere in the world. I feel like I'm in a room preaching to the choir about the legacy financial system and the problems that it, it, it incurs. Um, you know, if, if you've ever tried to make a payment smaller than a dollar online with your credit card, please tell me how you do that. I would love to be able to do that. It's, it's infeasible, it's uneconomical. It hits your, your account and it actually costs a dollar forty because of so many fees, right? Uh, we can go on about wire transfers. I'm originally from Brazil. Have you ever tried to send a wire on a Sunday? Or you know, on a, on a big holiday, that's going to take three, five, seven days, right? Um, and there's specific minimums that are required, right? Uh, we have partners that require you to send ten ten dollars minimum, right? And and in Bitcoin and Lightning, you can send one satoshi, which is a, a hundredth of a cent, right? Um, so legacy financial systems and, and legacy payment rails just simply don't scale to the current use cases necessary. And that's where Lightning comes in. Right? It's, it's open, it's fully interoperable, uh, it handles hundreds of thousands, millions of transactions on the second, uh, and it is completely open. It's permissionless. You don't have to ask permission from a banking partner or anyone else. You just plug it in. So Lightning's here to save us, um, but running Lightning at scale is really complex. As any infrastructure provider would tell you, uh, there are many, many moving parts. We can talk about high, availab high availability for servers. We can talk about fault tolerance, what happens if your node crashes, right? We can talk about the fact that you have to run Bitcoin nodes, Lightning nodes. We can talk about the liquidity deployment and efficient capital, uh, capital deployment and, and channel management. This is many full-time jobs over, right? So don't do any of that. Focus on your experience, focus on your customers, focus on providing the best UX for your partners and consumers and let us worry about the intricacies. The Zebedee API is a full plug and play solution for any business, any developer, any partner that wants to integrate with the Lightning Network. It's all one API away. We, we take care of the compliance requirements, we take care of the regulatory burden, we take care of the custody concerns, private key management. You just interact with a very simple API that you're able to process transactions with. And as I mentioned, it all starts with the developer dashboard. So the Zebedee developer dashboard allows you to acquire Bitcoin, send and receive transactions, create projects. We have a very robust plugin marketplace to deal with integrations to other systems. And this is all built in. You go to zebedee.io, sign up, and you're off to the races. But Lightning is not just a Lightning. It's not just one single QR code that sort of handles everything. There are many facets to Lightning. We have static QR codes, we have withdrawal QR codes, we have lightning addresses, which I'll touch on, right? So all of this is part of lightning, the true lightning experience. And we support everything out of the box, right? You've got the Bolt 11 invoices, you've got the LN URLs, you've even got the lightning addresses, right? All of that is baked into the Zebedee API right, off, right out of the box. So we are the most comprehensive lightning API industry leading processing ten, m tens of millions of transactions on a monthly basis. And it's all, you know, again, one single API away. So let's talk about what folks have actually built with this system. Um, 
Square Enix, the $6 billion publicly traded gaming company, has in chosen to integrate Zebedee API into some of their titles. This title is specifically called Ludo Zenith. Uh, introduced Bitcoin rewards into their system. So some of the ad revenue goes back to the customers, to the players. Uh, and they saw an ARP DAO, average revenue per daily active user, effectively double. So with one single API integration, Square Enix was able to double the revenue for their game. This is very impactful. Let's go a step further. Fum Games. Fum Games is a game studio. Uh, they have a game called Bitcoin Miner. Uh, four years ago, they actually released Bitcoin Miner, and it flopped. No one cared about it. It was a major flop. Then they discovered Zebedee and introduced Zebedee API, because what better you know, approach to a Bitcoin mining game that rewards you in real Bitcoin? Uh, so that's a given. So they introduced Zebedee API and relaunched the game. And suddenly, their day 30 retention globally went up 1,200%. Right? We're talking about a game that just recently crossed over a million active players, making it the biggest Web3 game in the space, uh, and it's entirely backed by Zebedee infrastructure. Right? Doesn't stop in gaming. It goes on. So if you're familiar with the Brave browser, if you ad watch some ads, you receive some rewards. Um, we, don't wor we don't care about those tokens. That's not money. We want Bitcoin. Slice is a startup that took the Zebedee API and decided to do the same thing. With a simple browser extension, you are able to participate in the web and watch some ads and receive some rewards. They actually had a very interesting problem that I touched on, which is the minimum requirements. Right? They had a PayPal integration, and you needed to get up to $10 before you could actually withdraw. No users withdrew. How long does it take you to earn little rewards that top to $10? Right? That's, that's unfeasible. The second they added Zebedee API, over almost 90% of users decided to withdraw to Lightning because 20 sats is immediately spendable, right? Again, it doesn't stop in browsing. It can go into uh, podcasting, music. If you ever heard the term streaming money, that's what this is. Download Fountain right now and get started. Fountain streams money as you listen to podcasts. Right? It's, it's really like that. It's live in production, and they are doing tens of millions of transactions on a monthly basis. Just as I listen, I'm supporting my content creator, my podcaster. This is very, very powerful. And it's all this. It's one simple API, a set of SDKs, and it's payments to readable identities, just like Zebedee dot send payment. Right? Choose a destination and amount, and you're off to the races. I wanted to take a step to uh, a couple of minutes to talk about some uh, of the things that I'm very proud about of Zebedee's work in the industry. Specifically, we have a very big eye for innovation. Um, you know, we run Zebedee. Uh, this is our enterprise solutions. We have our payments API. We have our consumer app that I just talked about. Um, but Zebedee consumes open networks. Zebedee consumes the Lightning Network. Zebedee consumes Bitcoin. Zebedee uses open source software. And so it was really important to us to dedicate both human resources and capital resources towards our open source initiatives. Um, it grew so much that we decided to build an organization. And from ZBD, we built NBD. And yes, it stands for no big deal. And so NBD is our open source arm where we push software for the world, sovereign money software sovereign identity software. So let's highlight a couple of things that we've built. I feel like this is the topic of the conference. Everyone loves to talk about Lightning addresses. In 2021, I released the Lightning address protocol, and no one cared at first, as it is with every protocol. Um, but Lightning address, I released it, uh, and I, re I gave a talk at MIT soon thereafter. Uh, and in that talk, I was able to show the impact of protocols in a way that folks understood. So everyone here has emails. It's a statement I'm comfortable, comfortable with saying. Uh, but I also guarantee that not everyone here is using the same email provider. Some are using Gmail, Outlook. But some of you are probably self-hosting a lot of emails. I imagine larger corporations do. Um, and I explained that because they all subscribe to the simple mail transfer protocol, they can all interact. They can send from Outlook to Proton to Gmail to Tutanota, right? It doesn't matter. They all understand the same language. And so that's what I did with the Lightning address. Right? You remove the frictions of using Bitcoin and Lightning. 
Uh, QR codes are great, but they're not useful for every interaction. So no more QR codes, right? Your kids, your cousins, and your grandparents know how to send text messages. Now they know how to send money globally, right? You can have Andre at Zebedee. You can have Sailor at MicroStrategy. You can have Peter at Joe.com, right? It's, it's an open source protocol. And the second I released it, this happened. Wallets implemented it. Bots implemented it. Paywalls, exchanges. Browser extensions, you name it, everyone implemented it. Just recently, MicroStrategy announced massive support for it. And yes, I have a slide on it because it's, I just couldn't not have one. Um, you know, I, I think this is great because the, the quote at the top uh, that Michael puts is, lightning is going to be as common as email. That was the sentiment that I wanted to convey when I put the software out, the open source. It's, it's a use case. It's a possible way of sending and receiving Bitcoin. Um, so that's Lightning Address, and now it's industry standard, right? So that's one thing that we've built. This is the other thing that everyone keeps talking about at the conference, right? Noster, notes and other stuff transmitted by relays. Noster was built inside of Zebedee at NBD, at our open source organization, right? Uh, Fiat Jaff is our lead open source developer. Uh, he wanted to scratch that itch, and he built Noster. And we supported him through and through for many years. For those that don't know, Noster is the first potential open decentralized communications layer. Uh, and it solves many issues, identity ownership, uh, censorship resistance, decentralization. And I'm going to talk about Zaps in a second. And it was actually out since 2020. Um, you know, and developers are interested in their talking, but it takes a little bit of time for network effects to kick in. And then this happened, right? Jack decided to donate just over a quarter million dollars to our engineer for building Noster. And then when that happens, developer interest skyrockets. And that's what happened when the money flowed in. Um, and when developers come into a protocol, when developers come into a platform, what do they do? They build. So from there, tens, now probably hundreds of applications have been built from all kinds, from blogs to social media to sharing files. And when you own your identity, you now run into this. These are different clients, different mobile clients, web clients, where I am carrying my identity across. Right? Remember emails, right? We're all interoperable. This is very powerful. And when it comes to combining Nostr and Bitcoin, which are two open decentralized networks, what do you get? You get free movement of money. In this example, I am zapping Jack Dorsey 5,000 Satoshis. I don't know Jack's location. I don't know what wallet he's using. I don't know what Nostra client he's using. We simply speak the same social communication language, and we speak the same money language. right? And that's that simple. So the next time you're building and you're looking to build something with value-driven experiences, value-driven interactions between people, if, when you're looking to build with Bitcoin, when you're looking to build with Nostra and social, Build with experts, experts that have been processing tens of millions of transactions on a monthly basis. Build it with pioneers, pioneers who have been here since day zero, through and through. And build it with innovators, those who are literally writing the spec of these open source software that's being adopted by the industry. The next time you want to build something with Bitcoin, build it with Zebedee. Thank you very much.